Good morning, good morning. It's Sunday morning. Good morning, good morning to you. Hi, my friends. We just got done learning all about creation and all of the wonderful things that God has created for us. And today we are going to start something totally new. We are going to learn how do we say thank you to God for everything he's done and everything he's created for us. Well, we do that through worship. And there is many ways to worship God. You can worship through song. You can worship through dance. You can worship through prayer. You can worship through art. We are going to talk about many ways that we can worship God and thank him for everything he's done for us. But today we are going to talk about worshiping through song. And you see, we're gonna to turn to our Bibles because there's somebody in our Bible who does this very well. Have you guys ever heard of David? Yes, the same David who killed Goliath. Yes, but he also loved God and was so grateful for God to God for everything that God did for David that he wrote an entire book of songs that are called Psalms to praise God and thank him for everything he has done for him. So we're going to talk a little bit more about David right now. All right, here's our Bible. Here's King David. After he batted Goliath, he became the king. And let's see, all his life, King David never forgot God. He wrote songs to ask God for his help, to thank God and to praise God. David's songs are called Psalms. And there is a whole book in your Bible about Psalms. Now let's read one of the psalms or songs that David wrote. And many songs, David tells God's love. This part is part of one of his songs. I will praise you, my God and King. You are always loving. You are good to everyone. You take care of all your creation. Your kingdom will never end. You will rule forever. His songs would cry out to God when he was in trouble. His psalms would thank God for everything he's created. Through songs, even today, we can thank God. We can cry out to him when we're in trouble and we can praise him for all he's done for us. I'm gonna take a moment to be like David in his harp in his field. I'm in my field. I don't have a harp because Miss Kate can't play a harp, but I can play a recorder. And we are going to take a moment to worship God through song. Let's do it. All right, my friends, I've got my recorder. I'm in my field, just like David was with his harp, and I'm going to worship God through song. You see, the song I'm gonna play for you today is called Amazing Grace, and it goes, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. That is one of my favorite songs, and I love to play that on recorder. I haven't pulled this thing out in a while, so I might be a little rusty, but we're going to give it a go. There you go. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope that you guys find a whistle or a drum or something to make music with and you spend some time worshiping God this week for everything he created and everything he's done for you. I love you all. Have a good week. Bye.